Can I tell you what most people do? Because I've been running Dungeons & Dragons for over five years, have completed and played in four multi-year campaigns, experienced hundreds of sessions, and talked to hordes of role players. Here's the pattern I see from most people. They look at being a dungeon master and they tell themselves, I don't have the time for that. I don't know what I'm doing. I would really like to run a game, but I don't know if I'm going to be any good. And some of you are probably saying, well, yeah, I've DM'd and that's all true. It's really hard. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't take effort, but it, at my busiest and most stressful times, I've managed to keep these games going. Not because I'm just smarter, have more time, or simply am better than you at this. It's because honestly, I've learned a few things over the years, things that will make your life a whole lot easier and more fun when running great role-playing games. So the first step to running a good game is one, know who you're playing with. When building a group, make sure you understand who you're playing with. See what some of the players may be interested in. What do they like about TTRPGs and what excites them? One thing you'll find is no amount of effort on your part is ever going to change how much a player engages with you at the game table if they don't really care. Put people together who are actually excited to play the game and find investment and fulfillment in making a character. Now that doesn't mean they all need to have several pages of backstory, but they have to have something they're invested in for you to have something to give them. Two, lay out what to expect in the game. These are called session zeros and they'll make your life a whole lot easier. It's one thing to know what kinds of things excite your players, but it's another to speak to them all directly and ask specific stuff that they want to see happen. You can ask them about what kind of magic items excite them, how often they want or expect to see combat. Do they like meeting new NPCs or getting invested in those non-player characters? There are whole lists of things you can ask them, and this gives you an opportunity to nail down your table culture. What are things that could be a problem? What are things you want to avoid? Perhaps you feel like players should not be able to steal from one another without consent, or want to lay out the tools for pausing roleplay to talk about coming to agreements on decisions between players. These are things you're going to want to know right away because without it, you risk butting heads too much. Three, start each session with the characters. Every time you go to create a new session, go back over the player characters and their backgrounds. You don't always have to have something big for each player character every game, but every session and every campaign should be focused around your player characters. If you do this, you will guarantee your players will remain invested. Four, find a note system that is best for you. If you're like me, you need a little structure and accessibility. But whether you use pen and paper, Microsoft Word, or Notion IO like myself, just make sure you're finding the easiest way for yourself. Make some repeatable bullet points to accomplish when crafting your next session. Decide what is most important to prepare so that if you don't have all the time in the world, you at least know the bare minimum to run a good game. And then five, cheat, lie, steal, and let go. Role-playing games are ultimately about improv, so stop preparing so much. Prepare enough to know what your NPCs want, but do not ever create scenarios with wrong answers. Remember that you have players with free will, not characters in a storybook. If you already followed these first four steps, then I can guarantee you, you won't have to worry about the game taking a turn for the worse. Remember that you can take from anything when creating and running your games, from television, books, real life, different modules, any and all materials for inspiration or ripping off. Because when it's just your game for you and your friends, I can guarantee you, they don't care that you got the idea for a nearly invincible construct set on a mission to kill the enemy general in the past from Terminator, nor will the copyright owners. If you want to take it to the next level though, there's one more thing you want to do. Study. Go out and study other great DMs. The good news is there are plenty of them out there online, not just myself. You've got Mike Shea, Ginny D, Matthew Mercer, Brennan Lee Mulligan, Abrea Iyengar, and many others but I've got just another right here in these video series for you. There you will learn many things directly from the great mind of Chris Perkins. Also, don't forget to follow the link in the description to pick up my first ever adventure and setting for free on Patreon and DriveThruRPG now. Dive into the desert region of Gondolar as adventurers making their way to the budding city town of Silt Pass in search of gold, glory, and answers to the secrets of a long-lost empire. In this first adventure, your heroes will defend the Dune Dancer, 
a sandcutter airship from a legendary group of bandits known as the Stormbringers. Do you have what it takes to stop the Stormbringers and their bombastic leader Therok, or will you make a deal with the Devil of the Sands and join them? Decide your destiny in the first of six adventures, PSI, Therok, Stormbringer, Iron Maid.